Hi, let's solve what we have on the board. We are asked to find the value of x for this. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's get to work. First, um, this is the question. Let me clean this x equal to what? I want to maximize my board. So x to the power of 3 plus x squared is equal to 4 over 27. Okay? Now let's cross multiply. Um, just manage the writing. I supposed to be like this, writing with my right hand, but this gives better lightning, so that's why. Now let's cross multiply. If we cross multiply, we'll have 27. We'll multiply x to the power of 3 plus x squared, right? Is equal to 4 multiply 1. We have 4. Okay, now let's open this bracket, but before that. 27 is same thing as 3 cubed, right? Yes, it's same thing as 3 to the power of 3 brackets. x to the power of 3 plus x squared is equal to 4. Now, let's open this bracket. If we do that, we are going to have 3 to the power of 3 times x to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 3 times x squared is equal to 4. Okay, now notice that in this place we have x, um, 3 to the power of 3 and x to the power of 3. They have the same index or power. So we can bring this together. 3 times x is 3x and they will share the same power, which is 3. Okay, plus now in this case, um, let's recall the law of indices or exponent that says that um, a to the power of x, all right, um, times a to the power of y is equal to a to the power of x plus y, okay? So once you have the same base, just add the power as long as they're multiplying. So that means that 3 to the power of 3, 3 to the power of 3 can be expressed as 3 to the power of 2 plus 1, right? Yeah, then if we should express this as this, that means to express it this way, we can write it as 3 to the power of 2 plus 3 times 3 to the power of 1, which is the same thing as 3, okay? So you are going to express 3 to the power of 3 as 3 to the power of 2 times 3, okay? So let's do that. If we do that, we'll have 3 to the power of 2 times 3 times x squared, right, is equal to 4. Okay, so we now have 3x cubed, okay, plus, now let's bring this 3 to this side, and then put 3 squared and x squared in one bracket. 3 squared, x squared, okay, is equal to 4. So this is where we have this side. 3x to the power of 3, everything, okay, plus 3 brackets, 3 squared, x squared, is equal to 4. Okay, that is what we have this side. Now, um, we have 3x cubed plus 3. Now, this and this are sharing the same power. That means we can actually bring the power out, right? So, we can write this as 3x squared is equal to 4. Now, notice that we have 3x and 3x in common here. So we can say let 3x be equal to something just to simplify the equation. So we say let 3x equal to a. Now let's call it a. So this is a very important equation. Let's call it equation one. Now we can now replace anywhere we see 3x, we substitute that as a, okay? So we have a to the power of 3 plus 3a squared, right, is equal to 4. Now, if you look at this clearly, notice that we are forming a polynomial, a cubic polynomial. So let's arrange it well. To do that, we have a to the power of 3 plus 3a squared. This 4, if it crosses equation, you know this is plus 4, right? If we should bring it inside, if it crosses this equation, it becomes minus 4. So we have minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, now this 3a squared, 3a squared, 
is sent in as 3 is sent in as 2 plus 1, right? So it's sent in as 2 plus 1 bracket a squared, which is sent in as 2a squared plus 1 times a squared will give us a squared, right? So we can replace 3a squared with 2a squared plus a squared. So let's write that. We have a to the power of 3 plus 2a squared plus a squared. We have replaced this with this. Minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, so let's factorize by grouping. This and this, they have a to the power of 2 in common, right? So we bring that out. Now, a to the power of 3 divided by this, you have only 1a remaining, right? Plus 2a squared. When it's divided by a squared, you have only 2 remaining. Plus, in this case, they don't have anything in common. But we can express this as what? Difference of two squares. Yes. So we can call this a squared minus two squared, all right, is equal to zero. Okay. So we have difference of two squares here. What is difference of two squares? Difference of two squares is when you have two squares subtracting each other. So we have, if you have a squared minus b squared, the algebra identity says that this is equal to a plus b into a minus b okay so we are going to express this this way so we'll now write that a squared bracket a plus two plus so we are going to write this a plus two into a minus two all right is equal to zero okay now notice that we have a plus two a plus two so we can actually factorize this out so if we factorize a plus 2 out, a plus 2, we open our brackets. When a squared bracket a plus 2 is divided by this, this we can see this, we are left with only a squared. So we write a squared here, plus, this is 2, sorry, plus if this 2 is divided by this, this we can see this, we are left with a minus 2, a minus 2, all right, is equal to 0. All right. Now, let's continue. <laughs> but before that, please subscribe to the channel and on your notification bell if this is the first time you are coming across my video, okay? That is because I wouldn't like to miss you in my next video so that you will be notified anytime I upload a new video, okay? Thank you so much. So this is what we have. Now, from here, we can say that a plus 2 is equal to 0, right? And that should be the first equation here that a plus 2 is equal to 0. That means that our a is equal to 0 minus 2, which will give us minus 2. So we have gotten the first value of our a. But remember, we are not looking for a. We are looking for x. But this is a number that is going to take us to the value of a, all right? Now, that is for a plus 2. Now, the other side, for the other side, we have that a squared plus a minus 2 is equal to 0. All right. Now, we solve. So if we solve this, this is just a quadratic equation. So we need two factors of minus 2. That when you add them, you get 1. Because coefficient of a here is 1, right? So we need two factors of minus 2. That's when you add them, you get 1. And that should be 2 and minus 1. Because 2 times minus 1 will give us minus 2. And 2 minus 1 will give us 1. Okay? So we are going to replace A with what? 2A minus A. Which will still give us what? A. So we are going to replace A with 2A minus what? A. All right. So we now have A squared plus 2A. Oh, let's just use here. So we now have A squared plus 2a minus a minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, now let's factorize by grouping. This and this have a in common, so we bring a out. a squared divided by a, we give us what? a plus 2a divided by a, we give us 2. Okay, now here we have, oh, they have minus 1 in common. Now, Minus a divided by minus 1. This, we can see this, you are left with only a. Now, minus 2 divided by minus 1. Minus, we cancel minus, you have plus 2. Is equal to 0. 
Now, looking at this, we have that a plus 2, because they are the same, then times a minus this one is equal to 0. Okay, so from here, we can factorize that. We can say that a plus 2 is equal to 0, and what? a minus 1 is what? Equal to 0. All right, now we have that a is equal to plus 2, we cross over to give you minus 2. And A is equal to minus 1 across over to give you 1. So notice that we have gotten three values of A, which are what? 1, that A is equal to minus 2. We have gotten this A equal to minus 2 before. That means we have it two times, all right? So A is equal to minus 2 twice, all right? And A is also equal to, permit me to clean this, also equal to 1. Now, recall. Recall where we said let 3x equal to a. Let 3x equal to a. So we are going to substitute the values so that we get our uh, x. Okay. So let's permit me to wipe this side of the board. So we have values of our uh, a as what? a is equal to minus 2 to y's. Now recall that what? Recall that 3x is equal to a. So we have 3x is equal to a. Now for a equals minus 2. For a equals minus 2. All right. So we have um 3x is equal to minus 2. So we divide both sides of this equation by 3. And we, are, we will have that x is equal to what? Minus 2 over 3. Now, because this minus 2 is double, we are going to get x equals minus 2 over 3 to y's, okay? So there is no need solving it for the second one. Now, another value of a is that a is equal to 1. See it here, okay? So when I say for a equals 1, Okay, now for a equal to 1, okay, remember that 3x is equal to a, all right? So if we substitute that here, we have 3x is equal to 1. Then divide by 3, divide by 3. Then we have that x is equal to 1 over 3. So we now have three values of x. One is that x equals 1 over 3, and the other is that x equals minus 2 over 3 to y. Now let's check. Let's check. Let's use 1 over 3, okay? Let's use 1 over 3 to check. The equation says that x to the power of 3 plus x squared is equal to 4 over what? 27. So let's replace x with what? 1 over 3. So we have 1 over 3 to the power of 3 plus 1 over 3 squared is equal to 4 over what? 27. Now 1 to the power of 3 is 1. And 3 to the power of 3 is what? 27. Plus 1 to the power of 2 is 1. And 3 to the power of 2 is 9. Is equal to 4 over 27. Now, what do they have in common? The LCM is 27. 27 divided by 27. If this 27 is divided by 27, you'll have 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Plus 27 divided by 9, you'll have 3. 3 times 1, you'll have 3. Is equal to 4 over 27. Now, 1 plus 3 is 4 over 27 is equal to 4 over 27. So the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. So that proves that 1 over 3 is what? A, a solution. Now, just substitute the other one. You can substitute the other solution, which is x equals minus 2 over 3 into this equation to confirm if it will give you 4 over 27, but actually it will. Thank you so much for watching. Note that I love you so much, okay? Now, bye.